Here I was, his choice, Freddy's pick, the new diamond in his discolored eye, taken against my will, yes, but already locating in my heart a subtle longing for the willingness to drown my past so I could resurface and grab hold of this uncanny yet familiar dark wilderness. For now I was struggling to make sense of it all, but no matter. Shit happens. Whether I liked it or not, there I was, in the living, breathing, black furnace of East Oakland nefariousness. Close my eyes, take a deep breath, and pray for guidance. Freddy reiterated what the voices had told me all along. I believe his baritone was one of the chorus all those years in my ears, but hearing it from him made it real. A solo standing out from the choir. Virtuoso. He confirmed what I vaguely understood, that I was one of them. That we came to this land in the 17th and 18th centuries in what some call the greatest exodus ever known to mankind. Before then, I didn't care to ask, and what does it matter? Had I gone back a few hundred years into the ledgers of our collective memory, I would still be left with my current state of being. We came alongside the others then, the human kind, <clears throat> not for the same underlying reasons. We didn't have to escape persecution for our religious beliefs. No, we did what we wanted quite freely. We practiced our faith in our faithless manner, fought one another to the death loved one another severely, loyal to our kind, to the dot in a crooked eye. We came alongside them, naturally so, but we could live off the fear, simply a free ride to an uncertain adventure in a new and treacherous land. We are not Protestants. We're not affiliated with any religion, neither Wiccan nor Pagan. We don't even worship the devil. We're not anonymous, nor are we gang-related. We're not of any particular ethnicity, nor do we subscribe to any newsletters. We do respect the pagan and Wiccan ways, and we take no issue with those descended from the word of Martin Luther, though they may at times get in our way. We're not anarchists, vampires, masons, or devil worshippers. Although we do have love for others who inspire the fear, which is just about all of them. Symbiosis is a beautiful concept. Even if the symbiotic partner is not conscious, they are participating. But in most cases, they saw and knew how their campaigns of terror upon humanity left us replete with our source of sustenance. And we were grateful. We once were disappeared, our kind, the elders say, but in the infancy of our nature, few then lived to tell. No one knows where or when exactly, other than to say the Northern Hemisphere. They locked us away, starved us, exposed us to the elements. We were used for slave trade. Anything of value to our long lost culture was stolen from us, claimed by the humans. You know how the story goes. Of any downtrodden tribe, they used to burn us at the stake, torture us. They wished in their no good hearts to eradicate us. We were noticeable then. We were obvious. They could pick us out in a crowd. They sometimes screamed when they saw us. Their faces grew pale and froze up. They reacted with fury and fire we have acclimated to them over time, the ones who have the fear. Like the others, marginalized and downtrodden, we have found our way in their world. We blend into the melting pot like cumin. They may not may think we don't live among them, but we do. We do.